Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a simple everyday makeup and I'm going to be showing you what I do if I just want to do something simple with my makeup. So first, I'm just going to be starting off with this Aveeno moisturizer and then I'm just going to be putting this all over my face. To prime my face, I'm going to be using this Becca Evermatte Primer and I'm going to be placing this on the areas where I get oily the most. Then I'm going to be taking this Tarte BB Primer and I'm going to be putting this on the areas where I didn't put the Becca Primer which is basically the cheek area and parts of my neck and I don't know why I put primer on my forehead. Moving on to foundation, I'm going to be using the NARS All Day Luminous Foundation. First I'm going to be shaking the product and then pump it on my hands and then I'm just going to be dotting this all over my face. And then once that's done, I'm just going to be using my Real Techniques brush and blend all the product out. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer for my under eyes. I'm just applying it onto my face with the upside down triangle method. And then I'm just going to be blending it out with a beauty blender. Taking another concealer, I'm just going to be using this Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer and then spot conceal all my blemishes and acne scars. To set my foundation and my concealer, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I'm just going to be dabbing it all over my face and especially on my under eyes to prevent from creasing. Moving on to the eyes, I'm first going to be priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. For the eyeshadow, I'm just going to be using the Naked 2 Basics palette by Urban Decay. And first, I'm going to be taking the color Stark and put that all over my lids. After that, I'm going to be taking the color Frisk and then I'm going to be putting this on my crease and outer V, but mostly focusing on the outer V to get that kind of smoky, everyday, but simple look. And then I'm just going to be blending these shadows together to prevent harsh lines and also to make the eyeshadow look more natural. I'm going to be using this Lancome eyeliner and then I'm just going to be putting it on my waterline and also my tight line. To prep my eyes for mascara, I'm just going to be taking this eyelash curler from Etude House and then I'm just going to be curling my lashes. And then I'm going to be taking this NARS Audacious Mascara and then I'm just going to be putting this all over my lashes. Moving on to my brows, I'm just going to be combing it through with a spoolie to prevent any stray hairs and stuff. Taking the Urban Decay Naked Basics 2 palette again, I'm just going to be using the darkest color called Undone and then I'm just going to be using that to fill in my eyebrows with an angle brush. I like using an eyeshadow for a more natural look because it doesn't look too drawn on and it looks more natural once you spoolie it out. And then I'm just going to be spooling my eyebrows once again. And then I'm just going to be taking a CoverGirl concealer. You can use any kind of concealer you want. And I really like this for shaping my brows and making it look more arched and precise. And then I'm going to be taking my spoolie one last time and then that's it for the brows. After the eyes, I'm just going to be moving on to the rest of my face and then I'm just going to be using this Sephora bronzer in Los Cabos and then I'm just going to be contouring my face. Oh. 
and then to contour my nose I'm just going to be flattening out the bronzer brush and then apply it on my nose as for blush I'm going to be taking the NARS toward blush and then I'm going to be placing that on the apples of my cheeks and then for the highlight I'm just going to be using the benefit what's up highlighter and then I'm just going to be putting that on the places where the light hits it the most which is the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my cheekbones, and then also my chin. And then I'm just going to be blending that out with a beauty blender. Moving on to lips, I'm going to be first moisturizing my lips with the Jack Black Lip Balm. I'm going to be putting on this MAC lipstick in Cosmo. I really, really love this color. It's perfect for every day and it's a good my lips but better color. Also, ignore the fact that there's highlight left on my upper jaw or like lower cheek area. I didn't really notice that until I edited this video. That is it for this everyday simple makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Be sure to subscribe for upcoming videos. See you guys in my next one. Bye!